everybody's excited. It's why Wednesdays is back. I mean, what a great day to be alive. Malachi Brown, he's got a good block from Wyatt Pelicano. Brown, a first down and more, and out of bounds inside the 20-yard line. Shepard with the well-executed swing pass. I never ordered Chipotle online either. Oh, no, you don't do that. That's a, that is a cardinal sin. You are asking to get ripped off. We welcome you back on this Wyatt Wednesday. As Wyatt says, it's a great day to be alive. And we now welcome to the program Wyatt Pelicano of the Shepherd Rams. Wyatt, how are you today? Oh, my goodness. I am absolutely shaking. It is Kutztown week. I mean, is there any more to really say? I mean, it's, it's Wednesday on Kutztown week. What? Where else would I rather be than right here, right now? You know what I'm saying? I think that answers the question that you were going to ask him, Nick. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll still ask it. I don't know if I want to ask it now or... I mean, it kind of ties yeah, in. Yeah, it ties into so that. Come on, so. shoot, shoot. Let me hear it. <laughs> All right, Wyatt. So you mentioned Kutztown Week, and you're shaking. You're excited. Uh, is Kutztown Shepherd's biggest rival in the PSAC? Um... I bet you, here, here's what I'll say, is if you ask them, I would think that they would 100% say yes, like no debate. We actually have, I've heard from some of the dudes that we got, younger guys, uh, that were getting recruited by them, that when they when they made their decision to come here, uh, that their coach was, like everything that they're building their program around is pretty much beat Shepard. So I know that they do not like us in the slightest. Um but I don't know, man. I mean, obviously we got the the dudes around the way with Shippensburg. That's always a big one for us. Um, that's a little close to home. But I, it's hard to place at this point. I mean, especially with our history with IEP that we have now. It feels like over the last three years we've uh, we've created a pretty long list of, of guys that don't want to see us win. But uh, I don't know. It's hard to pick. But, I mean, it, you can't not get excited for Kutztown. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I I don't know. It's hard to rank them, but they're definitely up there for sure. I would say in terms of every game just being close and super quality, Kutztown's been the most dramatic of those teams uh, in yeah, terms of the games. I would, I would agree with that statement. I think that it's just when, when Kutztown and Shepard square off, it's, it's going to be a war. It's going to be a good game, and uh, that's that's almost a guarantee. And I think in the most recent years and the most recent meetings with them, it's kind of added it a little bit more because it's been the road team that's won each game. Yeah, absolutely. I think that that's a, that's a part of it. And I think that it also, that hurts them because, I mean, our road game was, or at least our last one on the road with them, or I guess not our last one, but the one two times ago was Alex Wessel's Hail Mary catch that ended their season. I mean, it was on their field right in front of their donors and, like, oh, man. So they, they really don't like us. Still puts a smile <laughs> on your face, doesn't it, just thinking of that? Uh, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's hard not to. I'm smiling. I'm smiling all the time anyway. But, yeah, I think I, think I definitely there's a little bit more in that grim when I think about that, and I think about it often. Um, but yeah, it's it's a it's a rivalry for sure. I mean, like I said, nobody likes us, but these dudes really don't like us. Uh, but that's okay, man, because uh, we're gonna we're gonna go out there and do our job. You know, I mean, and that's that's well, there's a reason they don't like us, and it's because we're good at what we do. Let's go into this past week's game now. Wyatt, a forty four thirty four win at. California, PA, just seems like on the offensive side, they just keep getting better and better. And I've really liked what I've seen from the offense so far, especially last week. Yeah, I mean, uh, everything, like I said last week, you know, I, I don't feel like we're we're operating at full capacity yet. I think that we still have all these weapons and we're slowly starting to click. Right, you can see the the things slowly. The lights are slowly starting to turn green, where the things are starting to click and line up. And I think when we get this thing as tight and it well running like the well-oiled machine that it, it, that it's meant to be, 
that uh, there's really not going to be anything that can stop us. But you're absolutely right. I think that they look, we looked great uh, last week, but there's always stuff that we need to get better at, and we know that. And we know that this Kutztown team is going to, like, regardless of their record and, and what they're bringing to the table, you know, we know that they're going to play their best game against us. So we have to we have to be better than we were at Cal. I feel like to beat this cut down team, um, but yeah, nah. Every did we look good? You know, Cam Dorner another great game. Uh, JT getting some touches. Barry getting some touches. All these wide receivers are, are really starting to light up. Uh, Malachi looks better every day. His ball security is improving. You know, I mean that's the thing. We got guys that are coachable. We're turning around and fixing the problems that we have. You know, you say after the um, after the week before Cal. Too many balls on the ground, right? And then what it takes a week, and then we got no fumbles, no turnovers. So, I mean, that's a, that's a great stat line to have. No sacks, you know. So we're definitely improving, uh, but we still have more room to grow. And why it, it may look like when you give up, you know, 34 points that maybe it wasn't a complete team win, but it was really. I mean, the defense forces three turnovers. Special teams continues to come huge, come up huge for you guys. When you look at that aspect and just this overall team, how do you feel things are coming together uh, for the team in general, not just the offense? I think, I think that we're coming together as a whole, you know, and uh, obviously like I'm an offensive guy. So I look at that first. Um, But honestly, I mean, like you guys said, special teams has been huge. I will sit here and sing my man, coach Wright's praises until my, my lungs give out. I mean, that dude is working harder than any coach in the PTAC, I promise. I mean, he is our special teams guy. He got the, he has those dudes locked in. Uh, and that's the reason, he is the reason for their success. I will say that for the rest of my life. That dude is the reason for their success. Um, he's killing it. The special teams guys are killing it. The defense, I mean, they had, you know, a couple big plays, a couple home runs that hit on them. And I mean, it, it, that happens. We gotta, we gotta close the gaps. They know that. They know that. You know, what I mean, nobody takes that more seriously than Coach Klein and those guys. And they're, they're gonna work hard to fix it. But yeah, I don't think that that score shows exactly how much of a team win it was because it was most definitely a team win. We had to win that game in all three phases. And why, when you see, you talked about the special teams and what Coach Wright has done. How big of a spark does that give the offense whenever? You've been down this year. The special teams have came through and given you a touchdown uh, to help you know get you back into the game and, and feel confidence again. I would presume. Yeah, absolutely. That is uh, that is most definitely they're the they're the spark that lights the fire. Uh, both times that's been the case this season, or maybe all three times if, if you go back to Southern Connecticut too. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, Coach Wright, I will sing his praises until my lungs are blue. Uh, that dude is is. Busting his behind, it is apparent. Um, and we just, I mean, we got athletes, man. That's one thing we have in Shepherdstown. We have athletes. We like anybody. It, we have so many dudes that it's just you can put them back there and they'll make a play. Cam Dorner was not. He's not a like. I don't think he was. A, he's not a starting returner. He's not to put like. I don't think he's supposed to be back there. But McDowell needed a breath because he was on defense for the touchdown. Send Cam out there and what's he do? He goes out there and makes a great play. You know, I mean, we got dudes that can just adapt. We got dudes that can handle adversity, and we got dudes that are ready to make plays. And I mean, Cam's definitely one of those guys. Um, Malachi is definitely one of those guys. JT, all those skill guys, man. I will, I will sing all of their praises because they are doing great things. They're, they're adapting. They're uh, just really flexible, fluid players that are just athletes and are willing to do whatever it takes to win. And that's what we need. All right, Wyatt, let's now transition into this week's game against Kutztown. What have you seen from their defense that stood out so far? Um, well, they have 25 seniors on that team, which, I mean, uh, compared to our one, I think we just have Tank Fisher uh, is, is our one guy who's, like, really graduating at this point. Um yeah, I mean it's a, it's a lot. You know, they got a lot of dudes coming back. Like I said, they're not they're gonna give us their best. There's no way around it. They've been waiting 365 days twice now to give us their best. Uh, so they're not going to they're not going to be taking easy on us by any means. Uh, their defense is they're pretty flexible. They can show a couple different fronts. They're very they're a very well coached team. You know, I think our athletes compared to their athletes, I think we're, there's not anybody in our room that I would trade for theirs. 
but I will say that their coaching staff is solid. Those dudes are disciplined. Um, they're they're very sound in all of their uh, blitzes, coverages, everything they do. They're extremely strict and they play good football. You know, so it's definitely not going to be a cakewalk. And like I said, they're going to pull out all of the stops in order to try to uh, stop us this weekend. So we definitely have to be on our toes. All right, Wyatt, kind of a uh, fun question for you. Uh, when you're getting ready for the game, what's the one song or artist that you turn to to get you pumped up? Uh, uh well, yeah, see, you know, this is interesting because I can go all over the place. Um, I'm a huge Rod Wave guy. Uh, shout out to my man Tank again because um, uh, me and him definitely be we be listening to a lot of Rod Wave before the game. Um, but I don't know. It goes all over the place. Like I, I really, I'm not big on uh, I'm not big on super hard heavy hype music, just because to me it's like eventually the headphones have to come off and I got to be able to motivate myself for 60 minutes with no music. You know, so I can't. It's, I'm not big on relying on, like, some high-energy, crazy music. So I really do just be – I listen to a lot of calmer stuff, um, nothing crazy. So I'd say probably Rod Wave, uh, but I, I'm all over the place. I listen to some Juice World, a little bit of uh, Melly, uh, even though he's locked up. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's just kind of where I'm at. I mean, sometimes I'll listen to some rock and roll, maybe a little bit of country even, like, before I'm getting dressed. Once I start getting dressed, it's typically, like, some Rod Wave or some, some Juice World. Can you give us then, like your your pregame, I guess, ritual? Uh, how yeah. you self motivate? So yeah, so I actually I'm I'm starting to in my old age get big into reading. So uh, I actually will read. Uh, like I have highlighted a couple sections out of my favorite book that I've been reading. Um, the it's Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. So I'll read through those, whatever they help me get my mind my mind right. Uh, they talk because a lot of what he talks about is like things that I believe, like his core philosophies are a lot of what I believe in. And I believe that all of those, like remembering my core philosophies and how I think and operate uh, definitely helps me on the field. Um, so that's, that's a big part of it. And then, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely religious too. So I, I pray and stuff on the bus. I pray again in the locker room. I pray on the field. Um, so I do all of that. Uh, but yeah, like, I don't know. Like I said, man, I, I feel like a lot of people expect, like I definitely get loud. I can scream. I can do all of that stuff. Um, and I'm great at motivating other people that way. But when it comes to myself, I know that what it takes for me to be motivated is, is beyond just the screaming and yelling and headbanging. All right. I want to keep it with the fun out of the side football questions now. And something that's popped up into the news and been a interesting question to ask men is how often, Wyatt, do you think of the Roman Empire? <laughs> that's actually hysterical because Marcus Aurelius, the dude I was just talking about, is a Roman emperor. So <laughs> uh, I would say I would say at least every day, whenever I open that book, if I look at that book, um, I'm also Italian too, so that's my heritage. That's my bloodline. That's uh, that's where I come from. Um, so <laughs> for me, that's actually pretty frequent. I see all those memes and all that stuff in the news too, and I, it makes me laugh because I actually think that that's like a hysterical thing that some that, that people are like saying that and getting into that now. But yeah, I've always been uh, I've always been a big history nerd. You know, I, I'm I'm a I'm a big believer in like the philosophy of if you don't understand the past, you're doomed to repeat it. So I try to learn all I can from other people's mistakes as much as my own. Um, but, yeah, actually <laughs> more frequently than I think the average man does. All right, one more thing here. Wyatt, uh, since you kind of talked about motivating your teammates, I want you now to motivate people on why they should come out to this week's game. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what else really needs to be said. In the famous words of my man, Ronnie Brown, what's understood doesn't need to be explained. It's uh, it's Shepard versus Kutztown. I mean, if you're not there, you are absolutely 100% wrong because there is no better place to be on the planet Earth than 12 o'clock noon in Shepardstown, West Virginia on Kutztown week. I mean, if you're not there, what are you doing? What, if, what could you possibly be doing? That is more important than that game. I mean, it is it is the Super Bowl among Super Bowls in my eyes. I feel like I feel like I'm Will Ferrell in the uh, in semi pro. 
I mean, Flint Tropics to the Mega Bowl, Flint Tropics to the Mega Bowl, Flint Tropics to the Mega Bowl. I mean, Shepherdstown is playing Kutztown at home. I, I, that has only happened one other time in my three years here, and we failed. So we have that means we're destined to win, you know. So I, I don't know what else anybody could be doing than coming and watching us do what we do on a Saturday, especially when Kutztown is the other team. <laughs>